it's morning. Um, well, it's about 12.30, but if this is your first time seeing me, click here. That will take you to the Tipitaka playlist. Start with episode one. Should we get to the reading? Yeah, just to be different. Why not? How is everybody? You good? That episode four was quite a doozy. Let's see how episode five is. <clears throat> So uh, here I notice it starts off, well, it doesn't start off, the previous one finished off. It says, told is the Sudina recital. So I think I understand that now. That's like the equivalent of in the, in the Padmasambhava cantos where it says, thus has told the story of blah, 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 sealed oaths. So, so I should have closed with that rather than opening with it today. And the time before in episode three or whatever, Something similar where it said, told is the story of that village where the Brahmin was converted and all that. So, all right. <clears throat> so, continuing from where we left off. Now, at that time, a certain monk in the great wood at Visali, on account of his lust, kept a female monkey. All right. Okay. Let's read it. Then this monkey, rising early and taking his bowl and robe, entered Vasali for alms. Now at that time, a large concourse of monks who were engaged in touring for lodgings came up to this monk's vihara. The female monkey seeing these monks coming from afar, went up to them and postured before them. Then these monks thought, quote, undoubtedly this monk has committed fornication, end quote. Wow, I thought episode four was a doozy. All right, let's keep reading. And they hid themselves to one side. Then... This monk, when he had gone about Visali for alms, returned with his alms food, and eating half, he gave the other half to the female monkey. And there was some misbehavior. Then those monks said to that monk, quote, Surely the course of training has been made known by the Lord, your reverence. Why do you commit fornication, your reverence? End quote. Quote, it is true, your reverences, that the course of... Tra I don't know why this is the voice I'm choosing to do for the monk with the monkey, but anyway, we'll just keep reading. <clears throat> quote, it is true, your reverences, that the course of training was made known by the Lord, but it refers to the human woman, and not to the female animal. End quote. A loophole. All right. Quote, but surely, this is the others talking, but surely, your reverence, it refers just as much to that. It is not fit, your reverence. It is not suitable. It is not becoming. It is not worthy of a recluse. It is not lawful. It ought not to be done. How is it that you, your reverence, having gone forth under this Dhamma and discipline, which are well taught, are not able to lead for your lifetime the Brahma life, complete and wholly purified. Has not your reverence Dhamma been taught in various ways by the Lord for the sake of passionlessness and not for the sake of passion? And the allaying of the fever of the pleasures of the senses has been declared? Is it not your reverence for the benefit of non-believers and it causes wavering in some, end quote. Then these monks, having rebuked this monk in various ways, told this matter to the Lord. And the Lord, for this reason, and in this connection, 
having the company of monks convened, questioned this monk thus. Quote, Is it true, as is said, monk, that you committed fornication? End quote. Quote, It is true, Lord, he said. End quote, he said. Then the Lord rebuked him, saying, I'm pausing here because there's something in parentheses, uh, equals equals five, period, 11 above, or perhaps one, one, I, I, so like two above, instead of village dhamma, read the state of monkeys. Right. Okay. I think that's like a translator's note, but he should have taken it out, I think, before... Uh, publishing it because it doesn't make a lot of sense to other people. Okay, let's just keep reading. So, um, the Lord rebuked him saying, quote, having obtained in couples, is it not foolish man for the benefit of non-believers, monks, like dot, dot, dot. So maybe it's like the same stuff that he said before. Monks, thus this course of training should be set forth. Oh, okay, okay. I think I get what's happening. So, yes, it's the same. The Lord rebuked him saying all the same stuff that he said to Sudina, except instead of obtained in couples, or instead of uh, village dhamma, it's the state of monkeys. Okay, something like that. Anyway, uh, monks, this course of training should be set forth. Whatever monk should indulge in sexual intercourse, even with an animal, is one who is defeated. He is not in communion. End quote. And thus, this course of training for monks was made known by the Lord. And then we have that, that heading story of the female monkey. Okay, so thank goodness um, that that establishing the story of the origin of the establishing of that particular rule um, is, is concluded. Let's move on to the next one and see what it is. All right. Now, at that time, a great company of monks, dwellers at Visali, and sons of the Vajins ate as much as they liked, drank as much as they liked, and bathed as much as they liked. Having eaten, drunk, and bathed as much as they liked, not having paid attention to the training, but not having disavowed it, they indulged in sexual intercourse, not having declared their weakness. These, in the course of time, being affected by misfortune to their relatives, being affected by misfortune to their wealth, being affected by the misfortune of disease, approached the venerable Ananda, spoke thus to him. <clears throat> Quote, Honored Ananda, we are not abusers of the enlightened one. We are not abusers of Dhamma. We are not abusers of the order. Honored Ananda, we are self-abusers. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I, I thought this might be the next thing they would cover. Anyway, not abusers of others. <laughs> All right. Instead, we are unlucky. We are of little merit. For we, having gone forth under this Dhamma and discipline, which are well taught, are not able for our lifetime to lead the Brahma life, complete and wholly purified. Even now, honored Ananda, if we might receive the, pa the Pabhaja orientation in the presence of the Lord, if we might receive the Upasamada orientation... Uh, okay. Alright, so they're monks, but they haven't received the orientations that... Um, that what's his name, Sudina received as soon as he said he was ready to be a monk. Okay, well, I'll accept it. Maybe things will start making, become clear throughout over time. All right, just making a little note of the things that confuse me. All right, maybe translation issues. 
maybe? Or maybe maybe it's a something in here not connecting. All right. Let's keep reading, shall we? Uh, if we might receive the upasampada orientation, then contemplating, we would dwell continuously intent upon states which are good and upon making to become the states belonging to enlightenment. It were good, honored Ananda, that you should explain this matter to the Lord. End quote. <clears throat> quote, very well, your reverences, he said. And the venerable Ananda, having answered the dwellers in Vasali, the sons of the Vajins, went up to the Lord. And having come up to him, he told this matter to the Lord. Quote, it is impossible, Ananda, it cannot come to pass, that the Tathagata should abolish the teaching on defeat, which has been made known for the disciples because of the deeds of the Vajins or the sons of the Vajins. End quote. All right, we'll keep reading. Then the Lord, for this reason, in this connection, having given talk on Dhamma, addressed the monks thus. Quote, monks, whatever monk should come without having disavowed the training, without, his, uh, without declaring his weakness and indulge in sexual intercourse, he should not receive the upasampada orientation. But, monks, if one comes disavowing the training and declaring his weakness, yet indulging in sexual intercourse, he should receive the upasampada upa orientation, and thus, monks, this course of training should be set forth. Whatever monk possessed of the training and mode of life for monks, but not disavowing the training and not declaring his weakness, should indulge in sexual intercourse even with an animal, is one who is defeated. He is not in communion. End quote. Whatever means, he who, on account of his relations, on account of his social standing, on account of his name, on account of his clan, on account of his morals, on account of his dwelling, on account of his field of activity, in parentheses, an elder or a novice or one of middle standing, this is called whatever. I like that even though it's the translation, but it's, it's nice. Anyway, <laughs> this is called whatever. <laughs> Monk means, okay, so whatever means, this, so he's defining words. Whatever means, he who on a cow, okay. Monk means, he is a monk because he is a beggar for alms, a monk because he submits to wandering for alms, a monk because he is one who wears the patchwork cloth, a monk by the designation, parentheses of others, and parentheses, a monk on account of his knowledge, <clears throat> excuse me, on account of his acknowledgement, a monk is called, quote, come monk, and parentheses. A monk is endowed with going to the three refugees. A monk is auspicious. A monk is the essential. A monk is a learner. A monk is an adept. A monk means one who is endowed with harmony for the order. The, with the resolution at which the motion is put three times and then followed by the decision with actions, parentheses, in accordance with Dhamma and the discipline, and parentheses. With steadfastness, with attributes of a man perfected. Whatever monk is endowed with harmony for the order, with the resolution at which the motion is put three times and then followed by the decision with actions, parentheses, in accordance with Dhamma and the discipline. I think that's implied, right? Maybe that's what they're saying. Okay, end parentheses. With steadfastness, okay, actions, like not just any old action, like actions that are, anyway. With steadfastness and the attributes of a man perfected, this one is a monk as understood in meaning, in this meaning. Okay, so we've defined whatever. We've defined monk, all right? I'm still a little unclear on what was happening before. So if, if someone says, yeah, I, I have sex, 
but I want to be a monk, then he can have one of the orientations but not the other one. Um, I'll re-listen to it because I, I didn't get any of the words wrong. I said all the words into this here microphone. So I will, along with you, listen to it and try to decipher the meaning. And if I come up with anything I didn't realize before, I will mention it next time. So far, I haven't been able to decipher the meaning of they both of them went out and uh, attained our hot ship or our haunt ship. I don't know if that means to imply that Su uh, Sudina and his former wife went out and became a monk and a nun. I also don't know if at that time there were nuns yet. Um, I know that there was a period of time where there were only monks, only males, and then later there were nuns as well. Maybe it's a translation issue. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, some of these things are a little unclear thus far. Uh, comment below if you are familiar with these stories and you can help me understand any of the things that I have publicly declared I'm confused about. Okay, next, we're going to define training. Training means, <clears throat> the three trainings are training in the higher morality, training in the higher thought, training in the higher wisdom. Here the training signified in this meaning is the training in the higher morality. Mode of life is called whatever course of training is made known by the Lord. This is called mode. One is trained in this, thereby one is called possessed of the mode. Ah, so when they say the mode, they mean the mode of life. And one who is trained in this is possessed of the mode, not by, possessed by the mode, possessed of the mode. They have it. They have the mode. They've been trained in the mode of life, so they have the mode, right? The Depeche. Not disavowing the training, not declaring his weakness means there is, monks, both the declaration of weakness, the declaration of being disavowed, and there is, monks, the declaration of weakness, the declaration of being disavowed. And how, monks, is their declaration of weakness with the training not disavowed? Here, monks, the monk who is chafing, dissatisfied, desirous of passing from the state of a recluse, anxious, troubled, and ashamed at being a monk, longing to be a householder, longing to be a lay follower, longing to be a park attendant, all right? uh, longing to be a novice, longing to belong to a nether sect, longing to be another sect back when in pre-sectarian Buddhism, longing to be part of a nether sect of Jainism. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> longing not to be a recluse, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, Parentheses, such a monk, and parentheses, says and declares, quote, What now if I were to disavow the enlightened one? And parentheses. Thus, monks, there is both a declaration of weakness and the training not disavowed. Then further, a chafing, dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says and declares, quote, What now if I were to disavow Dhamma? End quote. He says and declares, quote, What now the order? What now the training? What now the discipline? What now the patimoka? What now the exposition? What now the preceptor? What now the teacher? What now the fellow monk? What now the novice? What now the preceptors of my equals? What now the teachers of my equals? What now if I were to disavow the Brahma life? End quote. He speaks, he declares, What now if I were a householder? End quote. He says, he declares, What now if I were a lay follower? What now if I were a park attendant? What now if I were a novice? What now if I were an adherent of another sect? What now if I were a disciple of another sect? What now if I were not a recluse? 
What now if I were not a son of the Sakyans? End quote. Tathagata does sound suspiciously similar to Tirtankara. Anyway, just saying. Thus, monks, there is a declaration of weakness, the training not having been disavowed. Ah, okay, so he, he hasn't said, I hereby, but he's been saying, what if I were to leave? What if I were to... So he's like, eh. yeah, everybody goes through that, right? What was that movie with the where the Pope says to the priest, fake it? You know the one? I forget. It had one of those Italian actors in it. Uh, Italian-American, I should say. Anyway, um, then further, a chafing, dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says, declares, quote, but if I were to disavow the enlightened one, he says, he declares, but if I were not a son of the Sanyakans, of the Sakyans, he says, he declares, and I should disavow the enlightened one, he says, he declares, and I should not be a son of the Sanyaka, of the Sakyans, he says, he declares, come now, I should disavow the enlightened one, he says, he declares, come now, I should not be a son of the Sakyans, he says, he declares, the enlightened one is disavowed by me, he says, he declares, there is no existence as a son of the Sakyans for me, thus, monks, if there is a declaration of weakness and the training is not disavowed. Then further, a chafing dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans. Like Sakyamuni, Sakyans, the Sakyans. Huh, huh, is that what they called themselves? The Sakyans, okay. He declares, <clears throat> a son of the Sakyans. Uh, he declares, quote, <clears throat> I remember my mother, I remember my father, I remember my brother, I remember my sister, I remember my son, I rem I don't know why the voice, I remember my daughter, I remember, I remember my wife, no, the first voice was better, I remember my relations, I remember my friends, I remember the monkey, no, I'm just kidding, I, I added that, I remember the village, I remember the town, I remember the rice field, I remember my property, I remember my gold coins, I remember my gold, I remember my crafts, I remember early laughter, prattle, and amusement. Thus, monks, there is a declaration of weakness, the training not having been disavowed. Then further, a chafing, dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says, declares, <clears throat> quote, I have a mother, she ought to be supported by me. I have a father, he ought to be supported by me. I have a brother, he ought to be supported by me. I have a sister, she ought to be supported by me. I have a son, I have a daughter, I have a wife, I have relations. They ought to be supported by me. It's catchy. Um, I have friends. They ought to be supported by me. End quote. Thus, monks, there is a declaration of weakness, the training not having been disavowed. Then, further, a chafing, dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says declares, quote, I have a mother, she will support me. Okay. I have a father, he will support me. I have friends, they will support me. I have a village, I will live by means of it. I have a town, I will live by means of it. Rice fields, property, gold coins, gold. I have crafts, I will live by means of them. End quote. Thus, monks, there is a declaration of weakness, the training not having been disavowed. Then further, a chafing, dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says, thank you, declares, <clears throat> this is difficult to do. 
This is not easy to do. This is difficult. This is not easy. I am un unable. I cannot endure. I do not enjoy myself. I take no delight. End quote. Thus, monks, there is a declaration of weakness, the training not having been disavowed. End quote. So that was the Buddha quoting monk monks that are struggling, right? And how, monks, is there a declaration of weakness with the training being disavowed? Here, monks, a monk who is dissatisfied, chafing, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says, declares, I disavow... <clears throat> I think that end quote was a little misplaced, and there's a, a missing opening quote here, uh, just to the, the society. If you could uh, take a look at page 40. Fine. Anyway, um, and how, monks, is there a declaration of weakness with the training being disavowed? Here, monks, a monk who is dissatisfied, chafing, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says, declares, quote, I disavow the enlightened one, end quote. This, monks, is a declaration of weakness and the training being disavowed. Then further, a chafing, dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyan, says, declares, I disavow Dhamma. I disavow the order, the training, the discipline, the patimoka, the exposition, the preceptor, the teacher, my fellow monks, the novice, the preceptor of my fellows, the teacher of my fellows. I disavow the Brahma life, says, declares, I will be a householder, I will be a lay follower, a park attendant, of a novice, an adherent to another sect. Oh, Mahavir! Um, excuse me. Uh, a disciple of another sect, not a recluse. I will not be a son of the Sakyans. End quote. <clears throat> Thus, monks, there is a declaration of weakness with the training being disavowed. See the difference? One is whining, the other is blasphemy. No, 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 not, not like that. All right, sorry. Then further, a chafing, dissatisfied, longing not to be a son of the Sakyans, says, declares, I am tired of the enlightened one. I am tired of the Brahma life. This, monks, then further says, declares, what is the enlightened one to me? What is the Brahma life to me? This, monks, then further says, declares, the enlightened one means nothing to me. The Brahma life means nothing to me. This, monks, then further says, declares, I am well freed with regard to the enlightened one. I am well freed with regard to the Brahma life. This, monks, dot, 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 being disavowed. I, I kind of wish the translator would not use these dots in such abundance, so I have to refer back to like previous quotes to see what's being said. I mean, yeah, the, the sutras, the, the Buddhist writings, they repeat certain things, but that doesn't mean just put three dots in every time. Sometimes there's a flow to it. Sorry, I'm not criticizing the scriptures, I'm criticizing the Polytech Society. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, so let's see how that would have sounded without the dots. Okay. Then further, he says, declares, I am well freed with regard to the enlightened one. I am well freed with regard to the Brahma life. This, monks, is a declaration of weakness with the training being disavowed. You don't need three dots for that. That's kind of important, you know? Like, do I say, honey, good morning. I dot, dot, dot you, you know, like, you know what I said yesterday, that, you know, no, sometimes you say it again, right? Sorry. Anyway, then there are though these others, these other attributes of the enlightened one or of Dhamma or of the order or of training, dot, 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 wonder what's in those dots, don't know, don't know, or of the Brahma life, I'll stop complaining, or of the householder or of one who is not a son of the Sakyans, 
he speaks, he declares by reason of these properties, by reason of these features, by reason of these signs. Thus, monks, there is a declaration of weakness, the training having been disavowed. Okay, so today we've got the, the female monkey. That was fun. Um, and the, uh, the, the, the nuance, there was the thing about if there's self-abusers, that's masturbators, from what I understand in old British speak. Um, so they're like, uh, Lord, we, we masturbate? Is that cool? And the Lord's like, yeah, you can be this kind of monk, but not that kind of monk. Or they're saying we used to masturbate, or we used to have sexual intercourse, but now we don't, and we want to be a monk. And the, I'll, I'll listen to it again, I'll read it again, and see if it starts to make more sense. And then there was the, the nuance, the, the difference between just whining and declaring, you know, uh, so this one you are disavowing, this one you're just whining, right? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and we will pick up right where we left off next time. Um, not 100% sure if it'll be tomorrow, but uh, it'll be next time. Thank you all for going on this ride with me, and I will close in the usual manner with prayer. My father and I used to say after our morning meditation. <clears throat> to the north and to the south, to the east and to the west, to the spirits of light among us and to the spirits below, we send out our reverent love and compassion. May all beings be happy. May all beings be serene. May all beings be in peace. Oh. Until next time.